Now, We 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. What did you just ask us, Carson? I said, remember when it was 150 a gallon not too long ago? That's what I thought you said. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, <laughs> what a time yeah, to be yeah. alive, and we exactly. didn't know it. I'm Those are the days. <laughs> Well, what a time to be alive right now with this nice weather, too. Yeah, this fall-like temperatures are great. You know, we were talking earlier in the show, yeah. we had such a wet summer. I think we kind of deserve a nice, long stretch of sunny exactly. weather. Yeah. And that's what we're going to have for quite some time. Let's go to the Sky Camps on this Tuesday morning. Actually, before we do that, I want to remind you, we're five days away from the official start of fall. Get excited, everybody. Now, remember, late September, it's still going to feel a little bit warm. Our average high temperatures are in the mid-80s. So it's going to take a while for it to really feel like fall, but it's still going to feel pretty comfortable, at least through the rest of this week. Now, let's go to the sky cams where you see full sunshine and cool temperatures. It's the coolest morning we've seen since May. 55 in Huntsville, 53 in Decatur, also 53 in the Shoals, and it's 55 in Gunnersville. But let's look at Gunnersville a little closer. You can see that dense fog just kind of blanketing Lake Gunnersville on this Tuesday morning, and we could still have a little bit of patchy fog in those lower valleys near those lakes and rivers for another hour to hour and a half. Tack on an extra three to five minutes on your morning drive. You see visibility is a little bit low across Jackson and Marshall County, even parts of Madison County, seeing some fog along 565, also up near New Market as well. I expect most of this fog to burn off by about eight or nine o'clock, and then we'll have full sunshine all day. 31 triple Doppler is quiet. It's going to stay quiet for a while. Temperatures warm up quickly through the morning, close to 80 degrees by your lunch break. Great day to have lunch outside the office. Get some fresh air if you can. And our high temperatures today are a couple degrees warmer than what we saw on Monday. 83 to 84 will be that forecast this afternoon. Great weather for any outdoor plans, including being out in the garden. We are totally dry all the way through Saturday, but we've been pretty dry recently over the last month or so. So make sure you keep watering all those plants in the garden as well. Our next big rain chance really isn't until early next week. Here's future radar for the next two days. All in all, pretty quiet today. A few afternoon clouds, that's all. Highs for most in the mid 80s. Some could stay in the low 80s. Tomorrow morning will be a few degrees warmer. Not necessarily chilly, but just a little cool. We're in the upper 50s this time on Wednesday. More clouds develop tomorrow afternoon, but if you look closely, there's one forecast model out of dozens of models that we look at every day that's suggesting a few showers west of I-65. We are not sold on that. Reason why? The atmosphere is very dry. It'll eat up any showers that do try to develop. So for now, tomorrow's forecast is still dry, but if we keep seeing a few showers as we go through the day today, we may have to add a small shower chance tomorrow. The next big rain chance, though, is not until Sunday night and Monday. So all thanks to our cold front, our next cold front moving through. More than anything else, just a couple of showers Sunday night. Most of the day Sunday looks pretty good, but as the front gets closer on Monday, that's when the rain will be most widespread. I'm not ready to say Monday's a washout, but we'll definitely have some showers around, maybe a couple of thunderstorms as well. 10 day forecast, all in all, pretty quiet, at least for this time of year. We'll keep those high temperatures in the mid 80s over the next 10 days, while overnight lows cool but comfortable in the low 60s.